Now let's look at some applications of differential equations in electrical circuits. Okay. So first let us look at a RL series circuit. Okay. So you have a let's say resistor and let's say you have a inductor which are connected together and you have a battery source okay or a voltage source so this is your rl circuit okay let's suppose my resistance in this resistor is equal to r and my inductance in this inductor is equal to l okay i need to find out what is the current flowing in this circuit at any given time okay let us suppose the voltage source is equal to V volts. Then I know that the sum of voltage drops across a loop is zero, right? Therefore, what I have is voltage drop across this resistor is equal to what? It is equal to I into R, where what is I? I is the current flowing in the circuit at an instant okay so your i is instantaneous current okay voltage across an inductor is equal to what it is equal to l di by dt okay where i is the in instantaneous current so your voltage across inductor is this your voltage across resistor is this therefore your total voltage drop in this loop is equal to what we would have V minus IR which is the voltage drop across resistor minus L di by dt which is the voltage drop across inductor is equal to 0. So this is the differential equation that I have solving this would give me the relationship between current and time. Okay. I can write this equation like this also. I am just multiplying by minus 1. So what I am getting is L di by dt plus IR minus V is equal to 0. Now what I would like to do is divide by L throughout I would get di by dt plus I into R by L minus V by L is equal to 0. Now if you compare this with a standard linear equation what you are going to get my standard linear equation of first order is given by dy by dx plus dx into y is equal to q of x. Okay. So in this case what you have is your i is essentially y and your t is essentially x. Okay. So what you get is v by l is your q of x or rather q of t okay so my q of t in this case is v by l let's write it like this i would take this v by l over here so what i would get is equal to v by l okay so now it is very obvious that q of t is v by l and T of T is R by L. Okay. I know the solution for a linear equation is given by Y is equal to 1 upon integrating factor integral integrating factor into Q of X plus a constant upon integrating factor. Okay. My integrating factor is what? My integrating factor is given by e raised to power px 